This slide shows the typical design steps of the reinforced concrete and also pre-stressed concrete. The floor chart here shows the typical reinforced concrete design. First, you need to analyze the loops which include the shear loop and the moment. Then you need to design for the ultimate limit state for the moment and shear. After that, you need to check and design for the serviceability limit state which include the deflections and cracking. You will need to make sure all the ultimate limit state and serviceability limit state to pass before the design process ended. If not, you will need to redesign the member until the member pass. As for the pre-stressed concrete design, the serviceability limit state and the ultimate limit state swap in terms of their sequence. After the analysis of the sections, not only limited to the shear and moment, it also involves analysis of the geometrical properties of the sections. First, you have to check for the serviceability in terms of the stress limit. At this stage, you will assume the losses and determine the pre-stressing force and the tendon profile. Calculate the stress acting in the members and check against the compression and tension limits. You need to make sure that the stress are always within the acceptable limit. Next, you need to calculate the losses check the losses and also the deflections. Again, you have to make sure the serviceability limit state to pass before you can start with the next stage for the ultimate limit state design. If it fails, you have to reanalyze and redesign the sections. As for the ultimate limit state, there will be checking and design for the ultimate moment and shear. You have to make sure it also pass the ultimate limit state before the calculation step ended.